Hey guys, here in one and I'm talking about the NVIDIA 3000 series graphics cards. Now, I was watching Review Tech USA's video, and he has a video which is titled NVIDIA's Upcoming Graphics Cards Makes the PS5 and Xbox Series X Irrelevant. Here's the intro. I got to admit, I wasn't super impressed with the NVIDIA 2000 series cards, but NVIDIA's 3000 series Ampere cards, they're luscious. They may have just made next-gen consoles irrelevant. Not really, and I know people are going to be pissed off that I said that. But anyway, let's roll with it. So yeah, it doesn't seem like he's being really serious with that. Obviously, they're not making the next-gen consoles irrelevant. But let's just look at this. See, here are the stats for the cards. Now, if you want easier stats, the RTX 3090 basically is 36 teraflops. Yes, the Xbox Series X is about 12 teraflops, but... Let's not go by that. That doesn't mean that the 3090 is literally like three times more powerful or graphics wise or whatnot, because there's more to a card than teraflops, way more as you see with all these stats. But just to keep things simple, let's go with teraflops for now. The RTX 3070 is about 20 teraflops. So even that one is supposedly more powerful than the 2080 Ti and Xbox Series X, right? But does this make the consoles relevant? No, of course not. Consoles have mostly kind of been behind graphics cards significantly for a while now it's, this is nothing new so would these cards being dead powerful and actually cost effective for at least the rtx 3070 make the consoles irrelevant no because the things that make console relevant one these aren't these aren't computers. These are just graphics cards. $500. Now, let's just say, I don't know what the price of the Xbox Series X or the PS5 is going to be, but let's say both of them the with the disc is going to be about $499.99, right? Now, that would basically be the same price for the RTX 3070. Now, most people, at least 8 out of 10, I want to say, are going to go in there. They're going to be like, wait a minute. I could get this really high-end card for my PC, or I could get a total system. Most people, I think, could go with the system because that's everything for $499.99, if that is the price. So, just to me, these cards aren't going to really do much, in my opinion. These cards, they're, they are really strong. But the consoles are still going to be very relevant because people are going to want to buy the consoles. People who aren't as techy, and even though I know people are more techy now because tech kind of is a big part of everyday life nowadays for most people. So, many people are just going to want the simplicity of the consoles. They're just going to want the ability just to you know plug and play basically with having ha having to do much and they're probably gonna be cheaper even than the rtx 3080 so a, a, these cards aren't really making the consoles irrelevant i don't think a lot of people are gonna go for these cards over the consoles but what do you guys think would these cards being dead strong and for the, the rtx 3080 and the 3070 being reasonably priced persuade you to go pc instead of the xbox series x and the ps5 let me know in the comments below thanks for watching like subscribe may god bless you all